Good morning. May the grace, peace, and love of God be with us all. Amen. Today we're going to talk about the gift for people who are willing to obey. The God of our fathers raised Jesus, and we are witness to these things, and so is also the Holy Ghost, whom God has given to them that obey Him. Acts chapter 5, verse 30 and 32. You have the word of the living God, and through petition you can have the gift of the Holy Spirit, who will make of the Bible a power for those who believe and obey. The truth in Jesus is a terrible thing for those who love convenience. But the truth in Jesus, it's filled with joy for those who obey. It is the joy of the Holy Spirit. There are three people alive in the Trinity, and in the name of these three great powers, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, those who receive Christ by living faith are baptized. These powers cooperate with its obedient subjects in their efforts to live a new life in Christ. There is a class of people who are not following Christ's example in keeping God's law, and yet they claim to be holy. They are ready to approach God's promise without fulfilling the necessary condition. Their faith is without foundation. It is like quicksand. However, there is another class that sees in the demands of God's law conditions to receive the Holy Spirit. And even if these conditions lead them to the cross, they choose the path of obedience. Abandoning and separating themselves from the world, they do not consult convenience, nor do they avoid accepting the truth, because they are not afraid of reproof. They go out from the way of transgression and put their feet on the path of God's commandment. The Lord's promise that are given on condition of obedience are made to those who walk in the light of the Holy Word. Those who do God's will can claim all the benefits that the Lord has promised. You know, we can only receive light from heaven when we are willing to empty ourselves. We cannot discern the character of God, nor can we accept Christ by faith unless we consent to bring every thought captive to Christ's obedience. For all who do this, the Holy Spirit is given without measure. It is not the most powerful man, nor the most talented, nor the most educated that we need. To take the truth of the present time, we need men who know God and Jesus whom He sent. We need men who are filled with the Holy Spirit of God. May God bless each of us that we may be willing to obey so we can receive the Holy Spirit in our lives and without measure. May God have mercy on us and may He fill us with His Spirit so that we can have power to walk the path of salvation to walk in the tracks of God's commandment, to obey always. Amen. May grace and peace be with us. Have a wonderful day, and I look forward to our fifth meeting tomorrow, Seeking the Holy Spirit.